Hey guys, welcome back to Nerf Ups. We got a video for both the nerfers and their parents alike. Because today we're going to be going over some nerf terminology. So you'll know which words to use and when to use them when describing a nerf gun. So subscribe down below and let's get started. Oh yeah. For our first term, we're going to be comparing bullets versus darts versus rounds. And notice how I separated my fingers because in nerf, we really only use darts and rounds. A dart is currently the most commonly used ammunition type inside of a Nerf gun, and they are the long foam pieces that fly out of your Nerf gun and into the air. Pretty much all Nerf darts have a pretty rigid foam base, that's most of the dart, and then at the end they have a soft rubber tip. And the tip of the dart has an effect on how accurate your gun's firing will be, whether it's waffle, standard round, or flat. Keep in mind that Nerf Ultra, Mega, and Strike, and Elite all use darts and darts only. And in contrast to that, Nerf Rival, Hyper, and Gel Blasters use ball rounds. And the reason they're called rounds is because they're balls or spheres that fly through the air. These balls often fly, the ball series of Nerf guns fly. These ball rounds often fly really fast, but don't worry, they're pretty soft. And now for our next terms, we have clip versus magazine versus attachment. In Nerf, a clip is a plastic piece that holds darts for your Nerf gun. And then, every time you prime your Nerf gun, the Nerf gun moves your clip side to side and moves on to the next dart every time you fire. And these clips are often mistaken for magazines, which look like this. The difference is a magazine has a spring or mechanism inside of it that feeds ammunition to the gun as it fires. Notice, the darts automatically come up. And here's a Nerf Rival magazine. The darts come up on their own. Or, or the Nerf Titans drum magazine, which is basically the same thing. It just holds a lot more ammunition and looks like a drum. And believe it or not, there's an internal magazine, which is basically just a magazine that's built into the gun. Isn't that amazing? Keep in mind that some Nerf guns, such as the Nerf Percy's, don't have a magazine or clip. The Nerf Percy's, for example, has one of the many different mechanism types called a hopper, in which you just dump balls in and it fires super fast. And that brings us to our next term, which is attachments. Attachments, just like they're called, are anything that can be attached onto the gun and can make it more useful. This can be a barrel on the front, a stock on the back, a scope on top, or it can be a variety of other things, including a shield, a laser sight, or a really comfortable front grip. Attachments are simply to enhance the usability and fun of your blaster, or sometimes just to customize your gun and make it look super wonky. Woo! We are flying through these. The next four terms are manual, priming mechanisms, semi-automatic, and full automatic. And all these terms just define how you use the blaster. Manual guns just mean you have to move some sort of priming mechanism every time or two times that you want to fire. And by priming mechanism, I mean lever, bolt, or grip that needs to be moved in order to fire the gun. And when I say prime weight, I'm simply referring to how hard it is to pull the mechanism toward you and back. These guns are powered by springs and have no motor or power inside of them, which is why they're called manual. In contrast to that, semi-automatic and full-automatic guns do take batteries. And this is because they have motors that squeeze and push out the ammunition at really, really high speeds. On a semi-automatic gun, you have to press the rev button to activate the motors and then click every single time you want to fire. It fires as fast as your finger can move. Whereas on a full-automatic gun, after you've revved it, you can just hold down the trigger and it will spray ammunition. <laughs> Just like that. And that's why full automatic guns are often called machine guns, because there's a machine inside of them allowing you to fire super duper fast. And finally, we just have five more quick terms that you can use when describing your Nerf gun. Range, which is simply how far your dart will go once it leaves your blaster. Accuracy, which is how far off the dart lands from where you aimed. Weight distribution and balance, which suggests which part of the gun is the heaviest. 
and whether or not this will affect your performance with it. Capacity, which is just how much ammunition your magazine or blaster can hold. Durability, will it break after three days of use? And comfort, is it easy and natural to hold for a long period of time or will my hands get cramped? And that was the last term, holy cow, we made it. If you're a parent watching this video, hopefully it'll explain a little bit more about what your kids are talking about. And if you're a nerfer, you can now use these terms to describe your nerf guns and sound super duper smart. Subscribe down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah.